Hey everyone and welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video we're just going to do a few little studio updates to let you know what's been going on here at Airbrush Asylum. As you know our last video was covering our introductory airbrush course which was great. A lot of students had plenty of fun doing that. We do have another intro course that will kick off on the 8th of September on the Saturday. That one only has two spots left so that is almost fully booked so we're excited to get into that. As well as all the teaching that we've been doing, we've also been doing plenty of artwork. So you may have seen the Venom canvas that we recently airbrushed. I'm going to show you that in a minute. There's also a quick snippet video of that Venom artwork, um, myself working on the actual saliva part of the video. That is available to watch now on our IGTV channel. So for any of you that haven't already, jump over to our Instagram and follow us there and then you can watch all of our IGTV, uh, IGTV videos. I think we've got about, I think there's about six already up there. So we, we're planning on doing more and more content and it will be different content um, filmed in that vertical footage, uh, vertical frame so that, you know, it's perfect for IGTV. So feel free to jump over there. Um, thanks for everyone that voted on the poll. Very interesting to see what Createx paints you guys prefer. Um, and it came out that Wicked uh, in the range is the most popular. Personally, I like the illustration colors. Everyone's different and I also use a bit of the bloodline. Um, but it's great to hear what you guys think. We are going to do more polls. So keep an eye on our community tab and that'll show you what we're talking about and keep the, uh, keep the conversation flowing. Another quick thing before we show you some of the artwork is we got some more templates to try out from Airshot stencils. So we've got a couple here. You can see these are pretty big ones here. I would say these are already available or will be available on their website um, at airshotstencils.com. I'll put a link in the description below for that. So there's this one and this one also is pretty cool. Got some sort of stretchy skin skulls with some texture and other bits that you could utilize for flames so and they're a good size they're nice and big so excuse me so that's uh thanks to airshot stencils for more of those templates that you've sent us we will try them as soon as we get a chance it's just been hectic um, trying to get through all this work so we've been working as i said on the venom canvas which i'll show you in a minute that's completely finished I did film a tutorial video on that, which I will put the whole tutorial up on YouTube, but it is going to be a little while away. Um, I've just been busy trying to get my artwork done on the Eagle trike before I get the chopper that's finally going to come in. It's taken a lot longer than expected. I know I spoke to you about just probably six weeks or five or six weeks ago about that one. It is still going ahead. Um, it's a complete dragon um, theme, and we've also gone with some hellhounds so that's going to be a cool one to paint um, but that's just been a mammoth project for our painter to do all the prepping and it's been huge anyway that's nearly ready so next couple of weeks i hope to have that in the interim we've just been painting the eagle um, harley trike which is coming along nicely finished the boot lid so let's just get over i'll show you some of those works that are in progress and then we can wrap up this video and get on to some more stuff very, very soon. So just stay tuned. Let's go take a look at some artwork. So here we have some of the Harley trike pieces. So we've got a couple of the guards here. They're all fully prepped. Um, we're keeping the original base color and you can see the tank here as well. So I have finished, and you may have seen this on our Instagram already, but I have finished the boot lid. So this is a complete wedge tail eagle theme and we've got a bit of the Aussie Outback in there as well. So there's going to be quite a few more eagles airbrushed over these parts. We are filming this one as well, so eventually we will bring you some tutorials of how we airbrushed it. But you can see this is all done with Createx illustration colours as well as Trident airbrush paint. So you can see that bit there. I just did that with a paintbrush, as in just the lettering. The rest is airbrushed, and there's some small paintbrush bits in there as well, just to get real fine, fine, definite lines. So that's the boot lid so far. 
And while I'm over here, this is the Venom canvas. Bit hard to see. Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. So this has been cleared with the Createx um, sealer, which is this one here. 4030, this is just the balancing clear. And I used illustration colors to create this artwork. But as I said, there will be a tutorial video that will come out showing you how I painted it. So this is just created using some paper templates, but predominantly freehand. So the size for anyone who's interested is 250 by 250 mil. So 25 by 25 centimeters. And the other thing that we've got going is the front of the Harley trike. So we've got this flying eagle. Now this has just basically been masked up because again, this is that red candy color. So I want to protect that. So I've done a, um, a mask here, a negative mask using uh, application tape. So this application tape's the same stuff that um, I'll just show you. It's available from your local sign shop. It's there. This one's from Connect. For anyone that's in Australia, Connect Enterprises. They are in Carrum Downs. We've got a few shops as well. I think there's another one in Croydon. But pretty much just based it up with some Trident um, kind of a fleshy mix with some peach flesh as well in there and some white and sprayed that first as a base color so that it wasn't completely white because what I want to do is come back in with some white to bring out the highlights and then add more shading and I've created some or just printed out some of the references and you can see just with an exacto knife I've just cut out all the dark areas you can see in the wing as well. That was the original printout for the size. So I stuck the application tape down and then put that into position. You can see the gray lead line around the border just to get my outline, which transferred the gray lead on there. And then I went on with my paper templates and sprayed the sepia color to create the details so that I can see where I'm going with everything and what I'll do now is I'll completely render the rest of it predominantly freehand might use some freehand templates as well just to get some harsh edges where I need it but most of it's going to be freehand from now on so there you have it guys hope that's a good little insight for you to see what we've been up to as you can see we've been doing quite a bit of airbrushing so we've got more artwork to come, so be sure to keep an eye out on our Instagram. Like I said, follow us on there and you'll, you'll stay up to date with um, our IGTV videos. We are trying to do them regularly as well. Um, and then also keep an eye out here for any new updates. We will always keep you up to date on what's going on here at Airbrush Asylum. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this sort of content, um, or if you want to watch tutorials, that sort of thing, we do all that sort of stuff. So feel free to hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon, and I hope that this has in some way inspired you to go and create some more amazing artwork. So go and grab your airbrush, do some painting, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.